Have you ever woken in the dead of night, fully conscious, but completely unable to move? You try to lift your arms to scream, but nothing happens. Your body, trapped. Your mind, racing. And then, you sense it. Something else in the room. It feels like a presence, watching, waiting. The pressure builds on your chest. You can't breathe. You can't escape. It's as if the weight of the darkness itself is holding you down. This is sleep paralysis, a disturbing state where your mind wakes up, but your body remains locked in the grip of sleep. But why does this happen? And why do so many who experience it feel an overwhelming sense of fear? Sleep paralysis occurs when your body is transitioning between stages of sleep, particularly during REM sleep, the stage where dreams are most vivid. During REM, your brain sends signals to your body, inducing temporary paralysis. It's a safeguard, preventing you from acting out your dreams. But sometimes, the process glitches. Your brain wakes up before your body does. And that's when the fear begins. Your body is frozen in place, and your brain, desperate to understand, creates hallucinations, frightening images that mix the dream world with reality. But why are they so terrifying? What makes these visions feel so real? And why do they often involve dark, shadowy figures? Throughout history, cultures around the world have described this terrifying experience. The ancient Greeks called it panda feche, an evil creature that sits on your chest. In medieval Europe, they spoke of the mare, a demonic entity that suffocates its victims in the night. And in Japan, it's kanashibari, the sensation of being bound by unseen forces. Different names, same fear. But what if these aren't just hallucinations? What if, in the stillness of sleep paralysis, you're seeing something more? Could these shadowy figures be entities from another realm, slipping through the cracks in reality when your mind and body are disconnected? Some who experience sleep paralysis describe the sensation of being watched, or worse, of being visited. They speak of dark figures, standing by their bed, sometimes hovering just inches from their face. Is it just the mind playing tricks or something far more sinister? And then, just as quickly as it began, it ends. Your body releases its grip and you can move again. The shadowy figures vanish, but the fear lingers. That nagging question, was it all in your mind? Or did you catch a glimpse of something beyond the veil of sleep? Something we were never meant to see? Science tells us it's the result of disrupted REM sleep, a trick of the mind as it struggles to wake up. But what if sleep paralysis is more than a scientific anomaly? What if, in those frozen moments between sleep and waking, we're witnessing the unknown? A doorway between worlds cracked open. Sleep paralysis, a natural glitch in the system of our brains, or something more? We may never know. But the next time you wake in the dead of night, paralyzed and helpless, Ask yourself this, is it just your mind or is someone watching?